When one story ends, so does another unfold. Goliath is released from the grasp of tyrants' hands and consciously returns to the depths. What felt like mere seconds in the depths felt like an entire lifespan for most others. He had unearthed knowledge, feelings, the numbing and scarring hums of warfare, despair and anarchy. Goliath was indeed convinced from this point on to remain by the encrypt, weakening his fist, hunching his head. What came of the visions was to paralyze him in more ways one could imagine. He sits down by the encrypt's fortitude and slumps into a state of disassociation and disbelief. This was not his pain to bear but was cast onto him by a perspective from his own father. Tyrant is glad he finally understands, and after wishing him a fond farewell until they meet again for great battles, he leaves for the Perga Prime castle. Goliath was to be left alone for many a century, until he is summoned to fight and protect again. An anomaly of parasitic brutality to others was just a mere being like everyone else who was cast out solely for the power he wielded. It is a punishment that feels unjust, and many a day was spent questioning why he remains until the thoughts came back to haunt him. A fatal gaslight that would force Goliath to believe something that wasn't entirely telling the whole truth. The artist who beheld the sacred archival of knowledge would suffer the same greeds its creators contained. A time will come of Goliath to understand this one day. The truth would always prevail without words. Such is the day he finally ascended from the iris.